They're not even looking at us like that. That means we ain't a threat. Right. Exactly. But by the next election, I promise. By the next election, I promise. I'm gonna be sitting across from all the candidates. I bet you. You know how I be making it. I promise you. I'm not even gonna be. I'm gonna be so far from where I am now in four years. God willing, I'm alive. The song, I guarantee you, we will. We will have our own political party. Boy, AD, me or J Real about to go downtown and vote. I don't know who we voting for, so he gonna vote for me, and I'm gonna vote for him. And you can do the same. Go out and vote today. You ain't even gotta go today. Go tomorrow. Go the day after. Whenever they got it to vote, go do it because they say we don't vote. That's why we don't have no voice. So we gonna prove them wrong. Confidential sources on the inside. And there ain't no rules around here. We're trying to accomplish something. And therefore, when the deal goes down, uh, all of this talk about uh, rules, we make them up as we go along. And I'm here now 18 years. What up, everybody? Me and AD, we're heading to the Macon Hill County Board of Elections. We're going to vote, get our vote on. We the people, take back over our country, one vote at a time. Just how bad is the debt crisis here in the United States? Boston University professor Larry Kotlikoff says it is time to quote unquote get real. The U.S. isn't just worse off than Greece, it's bankrupt. The IMF has tucked this study into uh, the black back recesses of its uh, uh, U.S. Uh, review. So it's, it's not, uh, you know, governments uh, and international organizations don't want to put out bad news. Is, is they that don't to want to say, put I mean, out the they, truth. Okay, they don't want to put out bad news. Nobody does. But is that to say that they are effectively lying to us? Yeah, they're effectively lying to us. There's no question about it. Uh, the deficit on which, you're, on which people are focused and then the official debt is really a small fraction of the over $200 trillion shortfall that the government is facing, the fiscal gap. And this is just coming straight out of the CBO's own projections. Just add, the, add up the difference between spending and revenues, present value of that, and you have $200 trillion. Good morning, everybody. This is boy AD. Me and my boy John Philippe just got done voting up here to make a deal county board of election. Make sure you come out and vote. We need our voice to be heard. Come over here and vote. Get your early voting in while there's not a crowd. Ain't nobody in here but old people. Where the young people at? We flooded the voting booths when Obama was in, um, in the election. So come on out here and get your vote on. Nobody is in control of the world. In other words, the world is careening out of control. But uh, you've got a, a situation now where the, the domination of the world uh, is not uh, an open and shut case. In other words, it's, it's not clear uh, who's running it. I don't think anybody's running it. I think that's the main point. There are things we can do, but we are in uh, deep doo doo. Me and my partner, AD, we just got finished voting down here in the Macon-Dill County Board of Elections. They're right. A lot of people say vote no matter. My honest opinion on that, like that's the I vote. I feel like the reason why I, I ain't getting to vote is where I came from. Everybody know who lived in that position on low class. When a person vote, it don't never change name where we from. It's still hard if I, I post to get Section 8. It's still hard to get in on the floor change. It's still hard. So if y'all make a change, maybe most people will vote. My honest opinion on that, like that's the I vote. I feel like the reason why I, I ain't getting to vote is where I came from. Everybody know who lived in that position on low class. When a person vote, it don't never change name where we from. It's still hard if I, I post to get Section 8. It's still hard to get in on the floor change. It's still hard. So if y'all make a change, maybe most people will vote. Those people are wrong. You should get out and vote, vote, and vote some more. Because this country doesn't belong to special interest groups, lobbyists, Wall Street, multinational corporations, Capitol Hill, or the White House. Half the federal debt in public hands is in the hands of foreign predators. And of that, a fifth, to be precise, 22% is in the hands of the monetary authorities of the People's Republic of China. Down, incidentally, from 27% in July last year. Now, 
I suspect it hasn't escaped your notice that China now has the second largest economy in the world. And I expect you also spotted that it is likely to be America's principal strategic rival in the 21st century, especially in the Asia-Pacific region. Quietly, discreetly, you haven't seen it in the headlines, the Chinese are reducing their exposure to US Treasuries. I believe, as a result, the policy decision to switch out of dollar-denominated claims on the US government and into nice, hard commodities and preferably the mines that produce them. Maybe, just maybe, the Chinese have noticed what the rest of the world's investors pretend not to see. That the United States is on a completely unsustainable fiscal course with no apparent political means of self-correcting. Ladies and gentlemen, military retreat from the mountains of the Hindu Kush or the plains of Mesopotamia has long been a harbinger of imperial fall. Uh, it take a certain type of man to teach To be far from hood but to understand the streets I never threw away that paper with my Grammy speech Because I haven't hit the pinnacles I plan to reach Yeah, you gotta own it if you want it One person with courage has always been the majority Indigo.